Flames and panic in the largest refugee camp in the world. More than a million Rohingya refugees from Myanmar live in Cox's Bazaar. Their shelters are flimsy and closely packed. The fire started on Monday afternoon and spread fast. Oh, brother, I don't have any idea where my wife and children are. Oh, Allah, where are my wife and children? I'm alone now. I was unable to salvage anything from my home. Thousands of shelters were reportedly destroyed in the blaze. At least 20,000 people fled for their lives as black smoke billowed overhead. People scramble to save their belongings and gather their families. I can't find my children or even my husband. The name of one child is Mamun and another is Rubia. And my husband's name is Anumaji. It's not known what started the blaze. One witness told the news agency Agents France Press that the fire spread faster after gas cylinders used for cooking exploded. Maybe more than a thousand shelters have burnt down. Many people have died. Elderly people were unable to get out of the shelters. Firefighters worked into the night. Since we reached here, we have been trying to put the fire out. We are trying to extinguish the many burning gas cylinders. Most of the Rohingya arrived in the camp in 2017 during a crackdown by the Myanmar government that the UN called textbook ethnic cleansing. The Rohingya have suffered persecution and been denied citizenship by governments in Myanmar for decades. They are often called the world's largest group of stateless people. This fire, in the place they fled to for safety, is a reminder of how difficult their lives are and how tenuous their survival can often be. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.